funny seeing you here. All right, so you guys recognize the spot? Weren't here too long ago. This is the exact reason why I try to remove as much moss as possible and I do not like just wetting and forgetting it because um, this is what you're left with. All this moss is nice and soft, ready to come off, or at least most of it is. And uh, we're gonna blow this roof a little bit so we can get a little extra traction and we are going to brush a little bit. Try to get some of this moss off. Probably give it a second blow and then uh, we'll go from there. Now this roof was a little mossier than most that I go to. Not only was it a little bit mossier, it was also the perfect kind of moss that um, just doesn't care if you're brushing it, scraping it, whatever, it just wants to stay put. So we did a little bit of brushing that day, pretty minimal because it was really just a waste of time. Sprayed it and now we are here we're not uh, charging them to be here we were not asked to come back um this account that we picked up we actually picked up because of a driveway and they wanted a roof done they have since added multiple plow accounts they have since um even today just standing right here i'm actually shut down for the season keeping all the equipment on so i can still have my ladders and everything we're going to winterize this afternoon but uh we're basically done with the wash season all next week is supposed to be in the 30s this uh, uh at night at least uh this is right down here on this porch just a few moments ago the guy asked me if i wanted to do uh, a couple of the other resorts that i'm plowing for him this year asked if i wanted to go and do some roof jobs and uh we we agreed to do it first thing in the spring since we're done but that is why we're back here so i usually do not go back to places um if it's if this was the result i would have told them that this is what they're going to expect well before i had even gotten on the roof and if they were okay with that i would have uh you know i would have done a job and, and left the reason that we're back here is because um <clears throat> it's uh more than just a roof wash at this point it's it's multiple avenues of business and just want to uh i just want to do do my do my part here and my part is getting this to look as good as possible and not leave it like that so um fortunately we just can't really do this all the time but uh that's why i'm, I'm very big on not telling people that it's going to come off with the spray that's why you always see me brushing and i always have the conversation with homeowners beforehand that you know i can kill the moss i can keep it from growing and keep it from holding water on your roof all that stuff which is very true i do never tell them that it's just gonna fall off with the wind because this is weeks and weeks after at least three or four weeks now maybe we could leave it a little longer and see what happens but we're just gonna hit with a brush now we're not gonna get it perfectly clean today but we're gonna make it look better All right, well, that should make our time up here a little easier. This roof is pretty steep, but it's not unwalkable. Um, obviously, this moss and the pine needles, they make it a little slicker. As you can see, walking right along the edge of the peak here, um, pretty good traction. You can kind of move right around as you get down to some of this stuff. Really a little easier to be on your butt. I got these grippy gloves on. They help grab the shingles. Different pair of boots today. And... Uh, pre-blow will definitely make it easier a lot of times i've been getting questions lately about the brushes that i use why i don't more often use a pole brush well these all did have poles on them at a, for a while but they're not really meant for the amount of 
downforce and scrubbing that is sometimes needed for this moss. So eventually they break off. <clears throat> I'll probably be using a little bit of both here, but this, even though a lot of guys say, well, why don't you put a pull on there, shave your back, save your knees, don't bend over, all this stuff. Um, I'm right there with you, fellas. I, I, I would like to do that, but this gives you the best. Get that corner, get under here. Sometimes you want some circular motion to get some of that to get some of that stuff out you can't do that you can't do it that easily with these poles doing all that kind of motion will just break it so i hope that uh, answers the question i uh would certainly like to uh do my back a favor whenever i can but it just isn't always feasible to use the long broom the long pole also this is really good if you're on a roof that you can stand it's also really good if you're on a roof that you can stand while also trying to brush away that moss that easily comes off but if you can't stand the brush with the pole is really useless and if it's brush if it's moss that really needs some agitation really needs uh, some, some good brush work uh, you really need to do it with the hand How are we doing? I need to turn the battery out in a minute. And as you can see, much better, huh? Much better. We won't be here much longer. We're not going to be doing the whole roof. This has been running for 23 minutes. Might as well, I'm going to go change up the battery before we smooth lighters. 23 minutes. But, you know, it would have been nice to do it all on the day that we came fortunately that just couldn't happen <clears throat> but for this particular client we're gonna get it all cleaned up really nice for them
seen we had a we had a lot of rain over this past weekend, probably an inch or so between the two days. And moss is a really nice to work with. See if we can find. So that's kind of still wet. So you see how it's drying out? We just cleaned off this whole roof, but we can't get this little piece. You know, or that without really digging too much. So we're not gonna get everything. Some of it's some of it's coming. But this is why I really like the hand brushing. Because you can get right under there. You know, you're not really, you know, these shingles aren't meant to be brushed. You brush them always with the homeowner's consent, also with also in conjunction with telling them that it can cause damage. But why sit here with a pole brush doing all that movement when really just get where the moss is and try to. Ugh. Slide in a little bit. Just try to get under it with the bristles instead of just, you know, waxing the whole thing, which you really don't need. Just, it looks like a lot of brushing probably from your distance when you see me going at it. But what I'm really trying to do is be as least invasive as possible. And uh, this really helps. You don't want to be brushing the whole thing. These are relatively new shingles. That's why you can really grip onto them, even though it's a little steep. You know, a lot of this has to do with the, the type of roof you're on, type of shingles that you're on. If this was a 15-year-old roof, I don't think we'd be up here. A lot of times walking on a 15-year-old roof, especially one that's, you know, kind of been let go like this a little bit, you're going to find that almost every step that you take is like walking on sand because all these grit, all these little gritty pieces come loose right under your feet. So we're going to blow this off, and that's really going to be it as far as the video goes because... Uh, you know, I think we've, we've shown what we've come to do. All I'm going to do back here off camera is I'm going to blow this. And I'm going to brush this little section right here. I'm not going to go after all this little stuff. Um, like I probably said before, this is uh, an Airbnb. This is the road facing side. And, uh, you know, no one asked me to come back and do this. No one paid me to come back and do this. So I'm not going to like kill my whole day trying to get all this stuff. You know, they don't see anything over here renters don't see anything over there but this is the appearance side so we're going to uh just want to clean this up really nicely and like i said we're just kind of building a relationship with this guy he's uh been very good to me so far and continues to give me give me some work so it's you, know, you, you got to do what you got to do right you got to you got to make those decisions um this is all getting torn up i think he said tomorrow so that'll be nice but uh a lot of this will come off you know what i mean it will come off over time but over time could be two years, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're not gonna worry about this stuff too much. Um, homeowners aware of the process, and like I said, they, they, were, they were fine with the way it was. They just didn't want it green, and they didn't want it continuing to grow. But uh, your boy Young Ambition's got some OCD problems. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta do what I can do here and get this looking a little bit better. I'm going to go turn the camera off. We're gonna get back here, hop around a little bit. And then uh, before I go, I'll blow this all off, and we'll get a we'll get a finished look. We'll get a finished look. Okay, here we are. This is the final product. For now, much better. About 200% better. Looks nice. Not as white and bushy, clunky and ugly. So that is going to be it for the season as far as this roof goes. We'll check at it, look at it again in the spring, right here in town can't go anywhere without passing it but uh we're gonna see what mother nature does to it over the winter hopefully some snow drag we'll uh, get some of that off but all in all i mean i think it looks fantastic looks a lot better again this is the uh the appearance side this is what their renters see when they pull up you know wanted to look as good as possible so pretty happy about that we're gonna go on with our day See ya.